So welcome to a brand new video where we're basically going to be covering the state of play from Marvel Spider-Man 2 that of course Sony released on Thursday. Of course if this video goes live when it does it's going to be Saturday so there's been press conferences where they've released gameplay and stuff like that. I'm not going to cover the gameplay just because it does spoil a lot of story stuff so I'm just going to be strictly doing the two trailers that they've released, a breakdown of what I think of those. Above as well is what you can, um, with what you can see is stuff like Craven's Lab or Craven's, you know, hideout. You can see the two statues as well. You can see the symbiote and the statue um, of the collector's edition, the whole thing where it's like 19 inches of venom. There is also a video on Twitter you want to go and check out of um, Doc's... Doc Connor's lab, where there's like some science stuff, so if you want to check that out, again, you can find it on Twitter. I'll try and link everything below on what I've seen, but like I said, I'm going to be covering the state of play and what I think of that. If you want to subscribe, go ahead and do so, it's free. If you want to like as well, you know, it helps the channel grow, all that good stuff. Anyway, we're going to jump straight into it, we're going to start off with the costume trailer. I'm going to be letting you know some lot of details that they confirmed on Twitter, just to catch you all up to speed. Again, not major spoilers, they're just going to be mechanics. So if you want to stop now and take the game first hand, click off the video. You've got five seconds, four, three, two, one. So welcome to the next trailer. Oh, it's not really a trailer, it's more like showing you why you're going into the deluxe suits. So there's basically a total of 65 suits, I believe they mentioned. All customizable, so you can pick different colors. There's suits from the movies, there's suits from the old game, there's new original suits as well. So what you're seeing now is, if you pre-order now, these are the suits you'll get access to, I believe, on launch. I believe there's a total of 10 suits, so 5 for each. And if you do pre-order the, the edition now, the digital deluxe one, you'll get um, some form of special one. So essentially the one with the cloaks. I don't know what they're actually in this trailer, I can't really remember. But I did spot in the State of Play trailer the Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man 3 Venom suit. Not the one that you saw that Eddie Brock's in like his actual black suit it is making it to the game, so that means we might see like things like uh, the Amazing Spider-Man 2, stuff like that. So yeah, anyway, we're gonna, we're gonna head into the um, actual you know, gameplay and the breakdown of the trailer and I'll let you know my thoughts on that one, but that's basically the costumes. I thought it'd be cool to introduce it as well. Or oh, sorry, showcase it because like I said, I saw this, I thought it looked sick. So yeah, we're gonna shut up and move on anyway. So just on the back of what I mentioned with um, YouTubers getting access to essentially the gameplay super early. They are only, I believe, I believe it's six months ago, so it's not the actual release, so the release is gonna look a little different. And also the size of the map, can we appreciate that? Like, look how much it's gonna be to do. You can go to Coney Island, Queens, pretty much everywhere. And there's obviously air tunnels, stuff like that. You can take full damage now, I believe that's an option you can select on or off. But it absolutely looks mental, like the way that we can just transverse and get across places. That's also a massive one. We're going to see the differences of their lives and how they impact like where Harry comes in. You're going to see Miles also struggle with college. I believe, in the open world. and you the can end, swap between them like PS5, you can make that sorry not PS5, uh, GTA characters do, so, so you can literally just swap straight away, one, but two there's also fast Marvel travel, so the Sam Raimi around, suit also comes up now I believe, exploration and also if you basically do a little a new quest or something like that, the other Spider-Man may jump in, which is really sick, in the world that grab your attention, such as a flock of Kraven's Talon drones circling a building, a mysterious symbol projected also, in the sky, Mysterio is confirmed in this actual game. Stops. You'll see Mysterio Many pop up like just before Wraith. So I'm very excited to see what they do with Mysterio. I was kind of glad he wasn't in the last game, but like I said, you don't want to put too much into a game. There you go. But what they're going to do, I don't know. There's going to be so many villains. I believe Doc Ock is going to be coming back. So you can see Prowler's back as well. I believe that was spotted on Miles' side. Your to the upgraded friendly neighborhood Spider-Man app 
But there's a new app as well where you can see which Spider-Man needs to do what, and they, it can be both of them or one of them. It literally looks insane. I'm so excited for that. Either Spider here to help, while others. And a takedown. So don't get me started. Miles will require you to put on the mask of a specific hero. All these activities. Yeah, the, the, the brutality of, of um, see there's a problem there and there's Mysterio there and there's another symbol that they've covered up. So I'm interested to see where, I think they had to do with um, Craven. But yeah, they're literally doing it from the ground up so they're absolutely covering everything. It's not going to be PS4, which is kind of sad for the other players, but like I said, we're going to see the absolute limits on what they can do with their technology. So there's a web grabber, don't know what that does yet, but we'll find out. And there's course, new attacks. There's a new tech system. Fighters. There's a cloak I was on about. Sam Raimi is coming up now. I'm telling you. I saw it. There. See? I wasn't going nuts. I promise. But yeah, I'm absolutely... That's the uh, suit style that I mentioned earlier. It looks absolutely insane. I will be covering the full game, so keep an eye out for that. That'll be around October. But I know this is kind of like not really a breakdown. It's just showing you what you can do. Also, I did notice on the spider arms as well. They also web, so we're gonna have like technically six web shooters. And the brutality of obviously Peter's Venom is insane. I believe also they mentioned that um, Peter's Venom or Symbiote also gets more aggressive as the game progresses, so that's gonna be interesting to see on October 20th. That's it from me. Like I said, I'm gonna keep this short. If you wanna check anything out, check it all in the description below. I'll link you to potentially other breakdowns, and I'll see you guys in the next video.